Hey, hey, ho, ho, ha, ha. All right, everybody, how's it going? Now, we're up to episode 11 on the e-bike build. Uh, there hasn't been that much progress. There's a lot of fiddly stuff going on now. Uh, like, wiring all the lights up. And, and the wiring, oh, it's, it's taken ages, honest to God. Tedious slog. So many connectors. Anyway, let's go and have a look. I'll show you what I've done. Right, so here we are. What I've been doing is wiring. Lots of wiring. And I mean loads of wiring. Uh, I got about, I, I can't see, 30-ish. Well, I don't know if it's 30. There's loads of crimp connections here. There's probably more than 30. Um, so I've been crimping like a good one. I've been crimping all week. About seven days I've been doing this for because I do something and then I look at it and think, oh, I could have done that better. So I take it all apart and I do it again. So most of the stuff I've done twice, sometimes even thrice. <laughs> so I got a fuse box in here uh, with four fuses in. They're not the, uh, I bought a, a pack of uh, smaller fuses, five amp fuses, because I don't need, it's a 20 amp fuse, do I don't need that at all. I mean, the biggest power draw is the headlamp, which is 40 watts and that's on, main beam that's the full beam is 40 watts the tail light is 10 watts so i mean that's 50 watts is not a lot uh, so i don't need a massive amount of wires i think the horn is uh 12 volts 1.5 amp i mean my amps are going to be extremely low so coming out of the fuse box is just two wires uh there's more going in i'll, I'll show my previous self looking at the fuse box in a minute. Um, I got the battery by here, by here, I should say, be a bit posher. I got the battery by here, and uh, you can see there's hardly any room left. I've got to put the BMS in by here. I've got to put the 72 volt to 12 volt a, a converter in here as well. So the controller, has had to end up underneath the frame. Uh, I've still got to cut the sides off that. Uh, what else is it? I don't. I've put. I don't know if you can see here. I got the ignition switch in. I've got the uh, some LEDs for the lights, uh, main beam indicators left and right, and also I got a connector there for charging. So I've been busy. Uh, uh, what else? Um, I'm going to go... Now, I was going to try and do 22 uh, batteries, 22 cells. Uh, but I, I'm going to stick with 72 volts. A lot of people said, try, go stick with 72 volts. It'll give you less of a headache. And, you know, I prefer less of a headache, to be honest. So I'm going to I'm gonna try just the 20 cells and at 72 volts. So... Let's go back in time a minute and see how I wired up the fuse box. Right, okay, here we go. Bit more wiring to do. Um, let's have a look. We got the 12 volt adapter, so we're gonna have 72 volts coming in on the black and the red, and then 12 volts coming out on the blue and the yellow. Right, and I don't know if you can see here, the higher voltage coming in is a thinner wire than the wire coming out, because obviously the lower the voltage, the more amps, I think that's right, you can get away with a thinner wire. Let's just say for instance, that was, that was this is rated at 25 amps. You can have a thinner wire coming in if it's higher voltage, but it's got to be a thicker wire coming out. Anyway, let's not worry about that. Um, so when the 12 volts comes out, I'm going to go to this little fuse box here. And I'm going to have, obviously these uh, fuses, that may not what's that, a 30 is or something? They're not going to be that high. I'll have to buy new ones and put lower ones in. So we'll have... Uh, headlight, for instance, uh, 
side lights, brake lights, and, and horn, or, or indicators. No, that'll be headlight, side light, brake light, indicators, horn. Something like that, okay? So, what we're gonna do, I'll wire it up now, okay? So th this is how I'm gonna wire it up. Okay, so I've done them all now, okay? There we go, we've got four of them and it ends with this big long piece of wire here. So at this point, I changed my mind. I thought, I don't want one wire going in. I, I thought, it, even though it was enough, it, it'd be in my realm of um, how many amps I needed and that one wire would have been enough. I know it looks thin, but it would have been enough. I decided to put two wires on. So let's move on to the next video segment where I do a little bit of cinematic turning of the old uh, fuse box. This next bit is pretty self-explanatory. I've marked out uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five holes for the LEDs, and uh, I'm using a small pilot bit to drill the first bit, and a bigger drill bit to drill the next bit. And there we go. I got five lovely spaced holes for my LEDs. You can see on the left there, I got one of the indicators and I used small eight millimeter uh, LED bulb thingy-majigglies. Right, okay. Um, if I pull the brake lever, first things first. <laughs> I gotta put uh, I gotta put some power to it. So I've gotta put the uh, I got a 12 volt battery here, so let's put the old uh, minus on the minus and the plus on the plus and nothing goes bang. Right then, okay, we'll start again. If I pull this brake lever, you should see the back brake light going. If I pull this back uh, lever, back brake light going again. Uh, if I put on the, I got headlight switch over here. If I put that on, you should see the back light on there. There, you should see the front light coming on, on here, okay? And the green light is on for the headlights. If I press this button here for the main beam, goes to the main beam on here, the blue main beam light comes on. If I turn that off, go back onto the headlights. If I press this button here, it's for the flash. So you should see that flash in, and then blue light there. Uh, what else we got? Turn the headlights off. Indicators on this side. Flash in there, flash in you, flash in there. Oh, hey! Over to that side. I don't know if you can see that. That's one, that one's flashing there on my hand. That's flashing. That's flashing. Um, the horn, I've done the wiring for the horn, but I, the horn hasn't turned up yet. So I'm waiting for the horn to turn up in the post. But the wiring is, I don't know if I'm going to have it by here or underneath somewhere. But anyway, so all electrics are working. They're all tickety-boo at the moment. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Everything's sorted. And all my dash lights are working fine. Okay, so there you go. I think that's, uh, that's it for this one. I've been mainly focused on the 12 volt wiring system, doing all the lights, getting that right for the MSVA. Uh, I was... Um, the, the, 
the the main battery that the controller I've had to put underneath the the bike and the wires coming from the rear hub are way too long now and I'm gonna need a big massive crimping bloody machine and I to, to crimp them so it's another expense of buying a <laughs> It is never ending. If when you build your own bike, you've got to you've got to buy parts to build it as well. That's the trouble, I see. So the cost mounts up. Uh so there we go. Anyway, I don't mind. It's a good laugh and it keeps me going. Anyway, if you uh, like this video, give it a like. If you just liked it, give it a dislike. I don't mind either way, as long as you do something. And uh, subscribe to the vi subscribe to the channel because that would be awesome if you subscribed. You know, more subscribers is nice, isn't it? So give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hoi! -ho